Hello YouTube, just like I promised a few weeks ago, today I'm gonna show you a completed installation of LevelSense Pro and sealed sump pump. I'm saying sealed because mine has anti-radon reduction system and uh, it's sealed. You can see all this silicone around the edges of the sump pump lid waterproof 100% silicone clear in my case so you can see I have both wires coming out that's the level wire it actually measures the, the water level and this is the float switch wire over here I have the uh, leak sensor when these two connectors touch water together it triggers the alarm or relay and this is exactly what I'm gonna be doing today I'm just gonna be some people live in areas where the sump is away or they have more than one story house and sometimes can be hard or impossible to hear the alarm that the device itself has. So this device may be necessary for that application. I'm gonna put the phone aside and connect it in front of you. As you can see, I've already connected one wire from the power cord, this is my power cord and then one of the wires I connected directly to the alarm to the siren and then the other two ends I'm gonna connect to normal open in my device and when I connect them to normal open and either float switch or this leak sensor closes the the whole circuit the alarm is gonna trigger and the siren is gonna scream really really loud it's gonna be simple process that's the siren and my sump pump just turned on there is no polarity over here so it doesn't matter which connection, which uh, wire you're gonna connect where. The important is to connect them to alarm. Yeah, that's depth wire, like I said, already installed. So one of the wires I'm gonna connect to normal open and the other to come. Here is normal open. Before you uh, start twisting this uh, this screw make sure it's before you insert the wire I meant make sure that the, the screw is completely unscrewed then insert the wire and start twisting I'm a bit lazy and I don't want to mess with the calibration of my of my death wire because once you have it calibrated it's best not to touch it and not mess with the wires I mean they are already folded somehow in a in a way and the more you touch them the more you're ruining the calibration that the level already has and the graph is not gonna be Mm, accurate anymore so I attach the wire as you can see to NO which is normally open and I'm performing pull test so there is another option this whole uh, connector the green connector I can just pull down and then out and then attach the wires and click it back in I just don't want to do that I feel like I can manage to connect 
two wires without touching and messing with this green block. So I am unscrewing com right now. The wire is still over there. I hear it. I hear that it's like clicking like it's unscrewed completely. Then I insert and I'm tightening this. I'm tightening it. Pull test and they are properly connected. This is how it looks. In my case, white wire going to come. Like I said, it doesn't have polarity, so there is no way to mess it up. Then the black life goes to the siren in my case. And the other wire that comes out from the siren goes to normally open. It's a circle in a way. See? See? It's like two people holding hands. If you count the the level sense device says third person, then it's three people holding hands. A complete circle. Here is my home sump. This is my device. This is my level sense pro connected to my sump pump. So, so I click on alarm, the bell down there on the right, on the left, and then I f I want to find. Um, leak sensor. Leak sensor I renamed to wet carpet. <laughs> so leak sensor in my case is set to alarm when closed and this is the correct way to set up if you want to use a normally open normally open on your device so I won't change anything over here I have the check mark set as you can see I have the siren which is the device siren itself I'm gonna turn the device siren off I'm gonna turn off email and text because I don't wanna get any text messages and emails when I'm performing this test with this siren all I need to do is to trigger the wet carpet which is the leak sensor and to activate this loud red siren so I'm gonna scroll down there click submit alarm config updated so I'm done with all the settings that I needed to change in my app in my application and uh, settings are correct now I need to connect the two metal parts of this leak sensor and the siren is gonna trigger and scream and rock and roll Voila, it works. You saw the red light over here. And now the device is sending packet to the server. Basically saying, hey, send messages or send emails to, to this account because we have a problem in this sump pump. And that was all guys. I hope you liked the video and I hope it's going to be helpful to you. See you next time.